Hey, it's Eric. In the last episode, we got our web application all provisioned with Ansible. However, our web application needs some sort of backend to talk to. And for request metrics, we're gonna use Redis. Watch as we use Ansible and Ansible Galaxy to get a quick and easy Redis install going. What the fuck is this? Okay, so next we talked about installing Redis with Ansible, Jordan, and uh, before you got here, Todd and I were thinking that we would just use that same David Whitman Redis role. Like the architecture that we're talking about is we need, we're going to need Redis for a bunch of different things from uh, temporary storage to permanent storage to uh, customer storage. Like we want to use Redis as, as, a, as a basically a data storage mechanism. Yep. And so we're going to run into a wall real quick with doing any actual development if we can't talk to our data. So we want to install Redis into our dev box and use our Ansible uh, infrastructure automation tooling to do that. Yep. So the pre yeah, the premise of Redis for all the things. Yeah, Redis for all the things. And, and really, Eric can splice in a graphic of all the things. Yeah. <laughs> and really, we want to use Redis because it's fast, right? And we think that to do this, this, APM sort of performance thing with all the data that we expect is going to come its way. We need something that's really, really fast. And there's not much out there that's faster than Redis when it comes to, to reading and writing. So but also cheap, right? And cheap. And, and cheap. Uh, <laughs> cheap to a given size of data, at least. Yep. And so one of the first things that we think we want to do once we start building out code is some really simple like customer authentication mechanism. But we need a place to store a customer. And so that means Redis. Um, and, and one of the things we want to do is we want to use Ansible to install Redis because, frankly, if we just like go through the motions on our own in PuTTY, like we'll never have two boxes that look the same. Now, one of the things that we can do in Redis or in Ansible world, excuse me, is um, Ansible has what's called Ansible Galaxy, and so these are pre-baked roles. So you saw us earlier make our own Linux role, but in this case, David Whitman has already made a Redis role that handles all sorts of stuff better than we ever could and gives you all kinds of ways to customize it. So if we look down here, um, we can install, we've got a really simple single Redis node, which is probably what we're gonna be looking at. Um, and so we think this is a great way to get moving quickly. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got, we've got our request metrics YAML playbook file. So we wanna add this guy right here. Yeah. Like we'll do the, like here comes Redis setup. Yep, let's do it. And so. Um, so so we talked about um, this file getting big. Yes. Let's do that at the end. Do you want to do that at the end or in a different, at a different time altogether? We can just do it at the end maybe. All right. Um, okay, so then how did we do this? So I'm just looking here real quick at what we do on track.js. So we had the master going, and I wonder, because this example seemed like there was sort of a single version without a master. Yep, yep. So what we can do is we can do um, name. And so, so Todd, this is actually where things get interesting because like, now how do we tell it like in, in prod that we want both, but in dev we just want the single node, right? Like with Ansible, because this same file is used by dev and prod. Mm. So this is like, and so, I mean, there's ways to do it, but so this is like a thing we're going to have to figure out. But right now, this is the only box that we have. This is the only game in town. So, so we could just do single node and we'll figure out multi-node later. Okay. And so what we're going to do here, and so we actually need to give it some VARs. Um, These are VARs that are defined in David Whitman's code. And so David Whitman here has... If we look inside his role and his defaults here, these are all the different things that you can specify. Ah, and so we can just override them in ours, right? Yep. So this is actually a pretty old version of Redis. I think we want a newer version. Wait, we should probably be explicit. Yeah. So, okay, so the first thing is, what's Redis? Much, yeah, that's it's Redis is 
five is is what they're saying stable is. Uh, do you, could you have a point like a full build number five dot five dot o dot seven is what stable is right now. <laughs> is there like a long term support Redis or is there? Most <laughs> um, zero res is into that. <laughs> anti res, by the way. Oh, sorry. Zero res being the carpet cleaners. Oh, <laughs> close, close. I don't see anything about a long term support. Just stable and beta. Okay. Well, if they think this is stable, that's probably pretty good. Hopefully this thing still works for that. Um, what other stuff do we want to configure? I think maybe the Redis dir, like where we point it, I think maybe. So we can do this. Um, and we have historically put him here. So just whatever the port number is, so that we can have multiple instances if we want to. Uh, do we want to use the default port? I don't see why not. Uh, and then we we... Might, maybe we want to be explicit about what it is, even if it is the default. Yeah, maybe. Like, what is the default port? Uh, the default port, let's see what he has. 6379. So maybe we just pull that across. and That way we know. Um, and we could do a password, uh, and we will eventually do a password, but just to get things moving, I don't think we need to do it today, probably. And then, okay, so then what we do is we do this. So we do roles, uh, and then we do, I think we can just do, I mean, he's all lowercase, so let me actually, is this how, I think this is how you do it. So I'm gonna wager no. Okay. But we can find out. Because, Why are you skeptical, Jordan? Because actually, in our in our existing playbooks, we do um, this. Rolls is like literally the top level. If you scroll to the top of this file, mm -hmm. like a web, mm. that's where that role is. However, mm. there is a module to run a role whenever you want to. So if there's two of them. I remember which one is which. It seems like include role underscore role. And then do and, I? And it has a name. What is it? it has a name. And is that? Yep. Like this. And then where's the VARs? Oh, you can, okay. But that VARs thing you did is fine. It's fine. So that is like scoped to this particular thing that we're about to do. Yes, supposedly. So do we think this will work better? I, I still give it a 50-50. <laughs> Boom. What do we got Boom. here? He couldn't start the service. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> That should be function equivalent to localhost, right? Yep. Damn it. Just for the sake of argument, if we just take out our configuration and run this again, and just let it do what it wants to do. I mean, I'm perfectly fine leaving it in var where it, well. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that's fine with me. Like, if that's what, if that's what needs to happen, I'm not upset. Okay, great. Working this guy. So I want to do, we're going to call this request metrics dev. 6379 is good. And this is going to be an app. Did that work? I assume this is not working and it's just this terrible program. He doesn't seem happy. He is, I mean, he's very unhappy. I was hoping that we would get something other than nothing. <laughs> but that's all right. Actually, you've seen the log down there. You, you, so he... He did, he timed out. So that's good. Okay, great. That's, but that's what we wanted. So, okay. All right. Redis is done.